Okay, welcome back everybody to Tag and Bag Outdoors and today we're going to do another uh, you know, ballistics education thing here. We're going to do the Taylor Knockout Formula. Now this formula was created by John Taylor who was a famous hunter and poacher uh, back in the day and he said that he shot more elephants with you know, all these different you know, calibers down here with a 600 nitro, a 700 nitro. But he also said that he preferred, he said that the most dangerous hunting cartridge ever made was a 375 H&H. &H. He said he killed more elephants than any other caliber. So what we have here is we have the conversion for foot pounds and we have the conversion for the Taylor knockout formula. And you're going to see when we get down to all these really powerful cartridges that the scale here for the Taylor knockout formula goes way off. And it's just, all it is is basically it's a measurement for smackdown power, you know. It has no measurement for hydraulic shock or, you know, how much energy and joules that a projectile has on the force of when it hits a certain target, okay? So what we have here is we have the foot-pounds formula, which is velocity times velocity or velocity squared times bullet weight divided by 450,240. That's a constant number. I don't know where they came up with that number, but it doesn't matter because scientists somehow just came up with the number. So as you can see here, a 22 LR has 104 foot pounds. A 556 or a 223, which is what the military uses in M4s and M16s and the civilian version AR15, they have a, a foot pound measurement of 1,282. Okay, that's a lot of horsepower compared to the 22 LR. A 5mm 35 SMC, which is the fastest rifle cartridge ever made, goes 4,650 FPS and has a foot pound conversion of 1,535. Okay, a regular 308 150 grain has 2,560 foot pounds. A 338 Lapula has 4,806 foot pounds. I don't know if you guys know this, but a 338 has more stopping power than a 3030 at point blank range at a mile. So if you shoot somebody at a mile with a 338 Lapula, it's going to have more foot pounds than a 3030 does at point blank range. You know, that's the equivalent. A 50 BMG which is the regular 655 grain bullet, has 13,350 foot-pounds. That's a lot of ass whooping right there, okay? Then you got a 10 gauge wax slug, which has 3,904 foot-pounds. And then at the 600 nitro, you have 6,850 foot-pounds. The 700 Nitro has 8,900 foot-pounds, and the largest caliber ever made, which is basically all it is, is it's a cut-down 20-millimeter shell. It's a, called a 950 JDJ or JD Jones. It goes 38,865 foot-pounds, okay? So that's basically three times as many foot-pounds as a 50 BMG. That's absolutely insane. I don't know who would want to shoot that. I don't know what it would be used for. I guess it's just for hunting, you know, dinosaurs or something like that. And then over here, we have the Taylor knockout formula. Now this is what John Taylor invented. He was a famous hunter and poacher and he came up with this formula years ago. The thing that he added was the diameter of the bullet. Regular factory, you know, ammunition, when it converts to foot-pounds, it doesn't take that into factor. Now, he said that a projectile weight times feet per second times the diameter of the bullet divided by 7,000 would give you a good measurement of, you know, how much smackdown power that a projectile would have. The reason why he has 7,000 as a constant number is because there's 7,000 grains in a pound, okay? So you have a 22 LR that goes 1.5 TKO, that's Taylor Knockout. 
You have a 556 that has 5.6 TKO. You have a 308 that has 18.28 TKO, and a 338 Lapua that has 35.611 TKO. Now this measurement right here seems, you know, to be pretty good. But then when you get down here, it gets a little bit confusing. He says that a 10 gauge wax slug has 142.0 TKO, and a 600 nitro has 143.42 TKO. Okay, now that's really, really close. So he's actually saying that a 10 gauge wax slug is as powerful as a 600 Nitro Express. A 600 Nitro Express is one of the most powerful hunting cartridges in the world. It's very famous for using to hunt elephants with. It's incredible. Now a 700 Nitro has 200 TKO. And a 50 BMG, a 655 grain bullet going at 3029 FPS, has a TKO of 141.71. So he's saying that a 10 gauge wax slug is more powerful than a 50 BMG. That's absolutely insane. I don't know how he would get a conversion like that, but it doesn't matter. That's just how the formula works. Basically all it is is just, it's, it's not, like I said, it's not a measurement of hydraulic shock, foot pounds, you know, energy applied on impact or anything like that. All it is is basically it's a measurement of smackdown. Okay, now I did the conversion on the 450 JDJ here, and I'm going to put it in here. And the 950 JDJ has a Taylor knockout formula of 1,000, if I can, I'm just going to turn it right there. That's just as bad. Here's my. 1,074.85. I mean, that's, that's a lot of horsepower right there compared to the 50 BMG and the 10 gauge wax slug. But the thing that I would like to know is why is a 10 gauge wax slug as powerful as a 50 BMG? And a 600 Nitro is just as powerful as a 50 BMG. You can shoot a 50 BMG just as accurate as a 600 Nitro. It has a higher ballistic coefficient, which doesn't make any sense. But anyway, this thing, this formula right here is just all based on SmackDown. And I think, but this is a basic, this is a knockout formula, you know, for, for projectiles. You know, this is just, this is way, way off over here. I mean, once you start getting up into the, you know, the calibers here, things just, you know, ramble. You know, I mean, that makes no sense whatsoever, but, you know, that's just how it is. You know, I mean, I, I just, I don't know, that's just, it's, it's hilarious how he thinks that a 10 gauge wax slug is more powerful than a 50 BMG. People have been shot over a mile and a half with a 50 BMG. You can't shoot a mile and a half with a wax slug, it's impossible. Well, I don't know about impossible, but it's, it's, it would be extremely hard to do. They're not as accurate. You know, you'd have to do a lot of conversion to make a shot like that. But anyway, that's basically the Taylor knockout formula, and that's how it works compared to the, you know, energy of foot pounds. So I'll see you guys later, and I hope you guys learned a lot of education on this uh, particular formula here. All right, stay tuned.